Hi everyone, so I'm back with a first impression review. This is for the Fenty products. I've got a ton of things from the collection that I'm super excited to show you guys my first impressions of. And we're gonna play around with it and have some fun. I also gonna tell you some up and coming videos that I've got planned. Oh my god, so exciting. Ah. If you do enjoy this video, thumbs it up and subscribe if you're not already. And let's get into the video. All right, I'm so excited to try these out. All right, so the first product we're testing out today is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So this is what the product looks like and the box. Really stylish, really beautiful, and very classy. I've got to say, I love the whole design of all the products in this collection. Super beautiful. And push pumps, love that. smells nice too. <laughs> it's not overpowering but it is a really nice smell. I like it. On the box it says this primer is to smooth, pore diffusing finish and extended makeup wear. Let's see. So showing you guys a bit of a close-up look at my face after applying the primer. It feels really soft to touch. You can still see a little bit of my pores but they do look like they have been filled in. Okay, so the next thing is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I chose the colour 190. Total guess. Hoping it works fine. Let's see. <laughs> Again, love the packaging. It suits well with the primer. Frosted glass. Beautiful. Really classy. So this foundation claims to be medium to full coverage for all. Longwear light as air. Let me see. Also, I picked up the foundation brush as well. So I'll be using that to apply. It comes with this little sleeve. Which you slide off. Perfect. I really love the feel of this brush. It feels soft but dense. I like it. Okay, it's already dry. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so this stuff dries super quickly. Definitely go in sections. So I'm going to pick up a bit more. So runny. Ooh, it's exciting! Oh my gosh! I'm excited! Alright, so after applying it in sections, it's a lot better. Holy crap. It looks nice. I'm happy with that. Also, for my skin type, it's like all over the place at the moment because it's going through a phase. I don't know what phase my skin's doing, but it's going through a phase right now. I do get oily most of the time, but at the moment I'm getting lots of dry patches. It does seem to cling a bit to those dry patches, so if you have dry skin, I would be a little bit cautious. It seriously sets so quickly. It looks like I don't even need to set it with powder right now. As you can see, it has oxidized quite a bit as it's dried. If you're looking at which shade to get, definitely probably go the lightest shade to the one that you're thinking about. If not, definitely test them out in store because it is definitely drying down maybe a shade to half a shade darker. So I actually really love the finish of this. It looks just like skin. It's really cool. I mean, it's definitely calmed down my redness from previously. <laughs> I'm going to show you a close-up now of my skin. Okay, so here is a real close-up of my skin. So it definitely turned down a lot of my redness. There is still visible signs here. Which will need concealer. But considering how red my skin was before, it's not a pretty good job. Then you can build it up like I have and it worked really quite well. I just can't believe how quickly it dried down. Like, it's, it's matte. It's, it's pretty matte. It's not over-the-top matte. It's like a nice, refreshing matte. 
And it's like, it's my skin, but 50 times better. You know what I mean? Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so the next thing we're moving on to now is the Matchstick Trio. I got the medium shade. Let's see. So the Trio comes with a conceal, a contour, and a highlight. And you can purchase these separately as well. I love the packaging. It is so cool. It's magnetized. How easy is that? You're not going to lose them in your makeup bag. It is amazing. I love the shape. I love the color. It's just really beautiful. So the medium trio comes with bamboo, trippin and mocha. So they twist up. And this is how much product you get. I'm kind of nervous about this. These things never work on my skin, especially in my under eye area. So let's see. So I'm going to go over my acne. My skin is so acne prone. So annoying. I'm trying to get it fixed, but it just, it doesn't want to leave me alone. It's blending okay. Okay, so this is what I was worried about. It's really thick and it's clinging to my dry patches at the moment, which I'll show you guys in a close-up. So I'm more just trying to pat this in. Actually, that's not that bad. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I was pretty worried with the way it applied on my forehead. You can see the difference between this eye and this eye. So this side has got this underneath it and this one does not. So it has done something. Okay, so that was the shade Bamboo. You can see here and here is where it sort of clings to my dry patches. This side, it wasn't too bad. I think it was just my skin type that's just messed up at the moment. But if you have dry skin, I would be very careful because it's quite a thick formula. So we covered up a bit more redness. There still is a little bit popping out. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Mocha. What do you think? Did that blend okay? I thought it blended okay. Hide that double chin. So it blended really nicely and it didn't cake anywhere on my face as well. I really like that. So that's this side with and this side without. Also, I just want to say I really love this brush so far. Okay, so, so far, contour is a must-have. Conceal, I'm not sure how I feel about it right now. I'm not sure. Love this. Really love this. Now we're going to go in with Trippin. Now, I was excited. Okay, I was, I admit. So I did try this by swatching it because I'm excited. I just can't wait, you know. So this is Trippin. So yeah, I really think this is going to be way too dark for a highlight for myself. But this really is a beautiful color. Beautiful color. Probably look nice on the eyes as well, actually. So what I'm gonna do instead is use it as a blush, because I think that'll be better. I really would love to try, I think it's, it's called Starstruck, I think it's called, and Blonde and Confetti. I wish I got those ones. I'm going to try the other shades as well when I have money. So this is what Trippin looks like. It looks good on this side. Also, I was lucky enough to get one of the amazing, beautiful Fenty Beauty PR little bags with my order. I was so excited. It looks so cool. Okay, so because now I am broke, I was not able to pick up the powder because, you know, student problems, having no money left. So I will consider picking it up another time, but for now we're going to just stick with this. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just going to apply it in certain areas of my face, just like underneath my eyes, probably down my nose, and in my T-section. Whee! Show everyone your 
on your bandage. Hey, your bandage, eh? Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, darling. Bye. Alright, so let's have another look at my skin texture at the moment. Alright, so here's another close-up. So you can see the highlighting stick a little bit. I really wish I got the other shades. Oh my god. Next time, next time, it's fine. It's fine. I need money. So next time. And on this side, you can sort of see where it was dry and it's clung to the dry patches. Apart from that, I'm happy. I'm not mad about it, you know. I'm really happy. My pores don't look too bad, do they? Also, I just wanna let you know, I'm gonna see how this foundation wears throughout the day, and tomorrow I will be filming a whole review on the foundation. I have really problematic skin, so it should be a really good review. So many people already have flawless skin, and I'm like, how are you so blessed with perfect skin? So anyway, I was, uh, that skipped me, so. I'm going to be doing the review on it, and you can see how it works with acne, see how it lasts throughout the day, but this is just going to be a first impression, quick review sort of thing. So now I'm going to go and fill in my brows, and I'll be back. Okay, so I picked up two different highlights, or should I say kilowatts. I really want them all, to be honest with you, but I chose two. The kilowatts description is creamy, long-lasting, endless ways to glow. Alright, can I just say also about the packaging? So inside this box, you also get another like mini box to help protect the, the products. All the products have this as well. And I think it's so great to have it. So just like double the padding, you know? I appreciate those types of things. So I of course have to get the Trophy Wife, the thing everyone is going crazy over, which I can see why. Holy crap. Crazy. It is beautiful. The packaging is beautiful as well. It's probably hard to see. There's like blue light glitters in the packaging when you get it in the light. It's really hard to see until you've got it in your hands. But it's really beautiful. It's like purples and blue shimmer on it. Gorgeous. So this is trophy work. It's so beautiful. I'm obsessed. The next kilowatt highlighter that I got is the Duo. This Duo is Mean Money and Hustler Baby. So, as you can see in the duo, there is a more satin matte, I don't know how to describe it, but there is a more subtle highlight, and there is a more blinding, crazy highlight. Yes. Alright, so I'm going to go in with Mean Money, so I'm assuming this is this one here, the more subtle shade. Oh, gold, I like it. It is definitely a more subtle glow beautiful though. I'm going to use this on my nose as well. Now we're going to go in with Hustler Baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay. Alright. Calm down. I was not expecting it to be that crazy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is great. I love this. It's like I have a gold stripe down my face. I'm not even upset about it. Alright, so I love this. I would recommend getting all of these. <laughs> I need them all in my life. Now for Trophy Wife, I'm going to put on my eyes. I'm going to put it on my eyes. I have a really fun makeup look planned for this, which I'm excited to film. I'm just waiting for some glitter to get here. So as you can imagine, it's gonna be very extra. So I'm excited to film that. So I'm gonna leave this for that tutorial, but I'm gonna put a bit on my eye because just look at it. It's screaming my name. So I'm gonna apply some quick eyeshadow. I will be using the Manny MUAX Makeup Geek collaboration, taking features and cream just all over the lid to prepare it. And then I'm gonna go in with Sora. Quick all over the lid stuff. And then finally, I'm gonna go in with Frappe in the outer crease area. And then I'm gonna shove some Sora underneath my eye. So now I'm gonna pop Trophy Wife on the lid. Oh my god, so excited. 
I'm gonna be using my finger. Oh, do you guys see that? Like, holy cow. All right, I'm gonna take that all the way into the inner corner with a brush. Wow, oh my God, the glitter gets everywhere. Be warned everyone, the glitter will fall everywhere. All right, I love this so much. I cannot wait to use it in the tutorial that I'm planning. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so the last product that I have to try out is the gloss. It's the Universal Gloss Bomb. To begin, I'm going to align my lips, just to outline them a bit to make them look like I actually have lips, because my lips are very small. This is Chi Chi in Totally Nude. All right, so the Gloss Bomb is the Universal Lip Luminizer. It is in the shade Fenty Glow. The outside packaging is beautiful. And there is the logo on the top there. And the applicator is massive, I love it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Wow, it smells beautiful. Wow, it smells like candy or something. Oh my gosh, I love gloss. I love glosses. I hate sticky glosses. I hate glunky glosses, but this I love. I love this. And you know what's good too? Like the lid is sort of mirrored. So if you don't have a mirror with you, you can use this. It is so smart. All right, so that is all the Fenty products that I purchased. Um, yes, yeah, so I do want to purchase a lot more when I get that money, and I will. Let me just fix this situation on my head. Oh, and I'll give you guys one more close-up of everything. So you can see how it's all looking so far. I'm happy with it. It's, it's good. I like it. All right, so to sum up everything, favorite and must-haves would be the highlighters. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. I would love to get some more of them. This is so shimmery, I can't even believe it. So yes, I highly recommend these. I also really, really love the gloss. I would also highly recommend the gloss as well because it's not sticky. It is like a perfect gloss where it doesn't even feel like you've got a gloss on. Third thing is technically fourth thing that I would recommend is the foundation. Really not like any other foundation that I've tried before. It's sort of natural looking. It's got like a natural finish, but it hides everything and it's high. It's hit all my pores, which is fantastic. So yeah, I would recommend checking out the foundations. Only downside is it does change color a bit, goes a bit darker, so just keep an eye out for that. There are 40 shades to choose from. That is absolutely amazing. Fenty Beauty is definitely setting a standard now for all the other brands, so that's super exciting. My thoughts on the brush is I love the brush. It's really good. If you have spare cash, get the brush as well because it looks beautiful and it feels nice. It's a great size as well. So yeah, if you got extra money, go for the brush as well. My thoughts on the Trio set. I like it and then I'm like uh. <laughs> love the contour shade I also now enjoy the highlighting stick as well I just want to get the other shades the concealer stick I'm like uh, I don't know I probably skip on the concealer stick I'm a bit dry at the moment so it's just sort of like cakes on top so I would probably skip this but I would definitely go for the highlighter sticks and the contouring sticks <clears throat> So that is my first impressions on Fenty Beauty's collection at the moment. Yeah, sorry I didn't get absolutely everything. I ran out of money. But hopefully soon I can get some more stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the close-ups. Maybe they were too close. I apologize. <laughs> I just wanted you guys to really see up close. So remember, I have a proper foundation review coming. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm back uploading once a week again, thankfully. So I'm excited to get more videos out to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video.